Okay, Goji Center posted this video, the death of the Indominus Rex. How did it really die? And it got me thinking, what the hell? Did it die in a different way? I'm pretty freaking interested now, because now it seems like it died in some crazy way that I don't even realize. That's awesome. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, subscribe to Goji Center, because they're on their way to 2 million, and that's freaking cool, and let's get into it. I just hope it didn't die from rectal trauma, you know what I mean? The killer of dinosaurs and people alike, the Indominus Rex, seemed all but unstoppable. Woo! Right until this moment, when it went up against the true ruler of Isla Nublar. Oh, <laughs> we're not talking about Rexy. So, what happened when the most powerful creature in the franchise got its jaws around the series' most infamous hybrid monstrosity? How could you not be talking about R R Rexy? Wait, because she can't be king because she's a woman? Did you say king or queen? I forgot. I should have prepared this argument better. Today on Goji Center, we break down two possible oh my ways God. the Indominus met its fate in that lagoon. For you to uh, fully appreciate the kill simulations later, we need to recap on a few important details of this Moza. Mosasaurs are a lineage of lizards that first took to the Cretaceous Oceans just after the Jurassic period. Oh, At damn. the time, the ocean was full of many other terrifying apex predators, from ichthyosaurs to the plesiosaurs to marine crocodiles. A chance extinction event cleared the board, and these lizards quickly rose to the top. Well, that's the nice. The earliest mosasaurs were about the size of monitor lizards today, but as they climbed up the food chain, they had to devise a whole new survival strategy, becoming brutal killing machines. Damn! The biggest of their kind, Mosasaurus and Tylosaurus, specialized specifically in dispatching other large animals. They were equipped with robust teeth that could split shell and crush bone, long jaws for better reach, and even optimizing a secondary row of fangs called pterygoid teeth towards the back of the throat to help hold and tear prey to shreds. What the hell? Dude, they literally had teeth in their throat? That's even more horrifying. I was going to say, plus the Jurassic World one's like bigger than a natural one. That's crazy. That's such an unnecessary thing. Was life not easy enough for them and then they got freaking throat teeth? That's crazy. Oh my god, the dirty jokes. Towards the back of the throat to help hold and tear prey to shreds. Wounds on other giant marine reptiles show these apex predators were more than capable of butchering big game, even battling or hunting their own kind if the situation called for it. What a G fossils like precision bites right through the armored shells of ammonites to disrupt their buoyancy and jumps to the head on other predators to avoid them from fighting back also show that mosasaurs were smart enough to have a specific strategy to kill different types of animals. Damn. And mosasaurus in specific might have been targeting the most dangerous prey of all. A 2013 study looking at carbon isotopes found that mosasaurus specifically hunted large animals and even other big predators. The swimming Nobody T-Rex. Nobody was safe from the mosa. They may not have met large dinosaurs all that often out at sea, but if their jaws and teeth could dismember armored sea turtles and slice through the bones of other other giant ocean predators, Mosasaurus could and did certainly kill dinosaurs. Damn. In Gen's Mosa would know exactly what to do when going after some land food. Still, even land predators caught out at sea have formidable weapons. Holy a Jesus. fully grown Mosasaurus would need to be careful tackling something like a T-Rex at sea. So, was it possible for the ambushed Indominus to use its incredible power and abilities to fight back off screen after getting dragged underwater? Look, I love T-Rexes. I got one tattooed on my hand, but what the hell is a T-Rex going to do against the Mosa in the ocean? It's so defenseless. He just nibble on his toes, bro. What would stop that, that from happening? It was part cuttlefish and dinosuchus, both adept in the water. Water after all, surely that gave it a chance That's to fight insane. back underwater, right? <laughs> no. Let's take a step back here and look at the big picture. The Mosasaurus's mass estimates might be all over the place, but it is at least triple, if not quadruple, the Indominus's weight. It's faster, it's much stronger, and it's in its element. So that said, this isn't an episode of Monster Face-Off. It's an execution straight out of Worst Ways to Die starring the <laughs> Indominus the Test Dummy. This Indominus won't stand a chance. We'll keep our two simulations loading here so we can witness this Moza have some dinner here. And meanwhile, we'll go ahead and tell you how you can avoid starving because you don't have the time to go hunt your own food and figure out how to fill up your tank with Factor 75. Hey, don't skip because if you're a gamer, that gym junkie, looks delicious. or just someone who hates cooking but likes good food and fast, Factor 75 may just solve your problems. Just toss your food in a pot or microwave and boom, right back to gaming. 
Dude, that's what I'm talking about. No recipes and cooking. I don't know how to cook anything at all, bro. Scan this QR code Balls? or click this link for 50% off your first order and that get shrimp two looks free as hell. I'm way too hungry to Select be watching your this. flavor and enjoy these for life as an active sub. Okay, I'm seems starving like our right now. have finished loading. <laughs> Taking us to method number one, drowning. Wait, wait, no, 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 hold up, hold up. This method of drowning isn't going to be boring. Damn, people were upset. Sucks. Just hear us out. Launching out of the water as it did, the Mosasaur certainly mimicked the crocodiles you see on those brutal croc hunt videos online. Going off the official Jurassic World website at the time the movie released, the in-gen Mosasaurus had a bite force listed at about 13,000 PSI. Damn. However, the true damage might be substantially higher. Veteran viewers might remember the monster face-off episode starring this very Mosa, where we discussed some of the mechanics behind a bite like this. If the bite is concentrated on a smaller surface area, then the bite is much, much more lethal. And every ounce of that biting pressure for the Moza just got slammed down onto the Indominus's neck. So Slowing juicy. Slowing down the footage, we can hear the gasp of air being forced out of the hybrid's body after such a chomp. Ouch. And while the Indominus did manage to thrash and struggle for a moment, the Mosasaurus wasn't done yet. Much like how some crocodiles will thrash and whip prey against the ground or Thunder. water once they get a good hold, the Mosasaurus lurched back with enough force to yank the Indominus's entire body off the ground. This impact alone on top of the biting pressure could have been more than enough to break the Indominus's neck. Once the Indominus violently hit the water and was dragged against it, all of its weight is going one direction and putting all of that strain on the throat. Vertebrae could be easily dislocated if not outright crushed. And with a ruptured spinal cord, the Indominus would lose most of its ability to move its body right then and there. Dude, this is making me feel super bad for the Indominus Rex. I didn't feel bad for it in the movie. It didn't ask to be created. It was made like that. And now it has to be brutally slaughtered. Damn it, humans. When will we learn? Granted, this is the same hybrid that was able to shrug off bullets and a mauling from an angry T-Rex. So what if it was tough enough to not have its neck snapped right then and there? Honestly, it might have wished it did. Oh my gosh. This is where a part of the theropod dinosaur biology might actually wind up working against the hybrid. Mammals and lizards can hold their breath easily underwater because their lungs open up and close with the movement of certain muscles. In humans, this would be the diaphragm. Birds, dinosaurs, and especially theropods have what is called a pneumatic system. A series of air sacs through the body connected to the throat and lungs to constantly pump air. Instead of individual breaths, air is constantly being pushed in and out. This system increases stamina by venting out heat more efficiently and is the reason why today birds dominate the sky in the age of mammals. Underwater, however, this is a critical disadvantage and might be one of the reasons very few dinosaurs ever took to living in the water. With the Mosasaurus crunching down on the Indominus's body and thrashing around, the hybrid would be reflexively trying to get as much air as it could. The pneumatic system it relies on to breathe would just suck in more and more water until multiple air sacs and the lungs got flooded. The situation gets even worse if the Mosasaur lets go of the neck to target the belly. Oh, Remember, God. This is a predator smart enough to know vulnerable areas. It would know exactly where one would be here on a dinosaur. Crunching down on the Indominus's midsection whilst keeping it underwater, the Indominus's ribcage and gastralia wouldn't be able to take the pressure. Broken bone would be split and stabbed into the body even deeper than the teeth would go. The crushing force of those jaws and broken ribs would perforate the interior air sacs and organs even more. The Indominus would be taking on water in records time and drowning in its own blood on top of that. Bro, that is such an unnecessary amount of slaughter. Good God, this poor creature. We deserve everything bad that happens to us after this. Even without the teeth needing to punch in that far, the Indominus is effectively impaled with its own body. Skewered on the inside with more and more seawater rushing in. Unconsciousness could happen in seconds and death shortly after. Well, thank God. But there is an alternate, even more grisly way the hybrid might have met its fate. No way, bro. By the current oceanic apex predator. Oh, he's gonna Method eat his freaking two, kidneys. Dismemberment. 
Instead of just waiting for the Indominus to drown, the far messier way for the Moza to get its meal would be to put those teeth and jaws to work. Letting go of the Indominus' neck briefly, the Mosasaurus instead clamps down lower. Biting down firmly on the flank of the body, up to 40 conical teeth stab through the Indominus' hide. Conical. That monstrous biting pressure would be more than enough to crack bone and punch right through any dermal armor, shattering the osteoderms on the way in. After getting a good grip, the Mosasaurus would then thrash side to side. With the teeth gripping the hide and muscle so firmly, tissue is literally wrenched off the bone. This would not only cause massive amounts of shock, making any amount of drowning even worse, it would also rupture arteries and shred veins. What is there it would be doing, a lot bro? Of blood in the water very quickly. Yanking on All his toes. The, while, the Mosasaurus gets to eat bite by bite, not even bothering to shred chunks of flesh out with the serrations on the teeth. With the hybrid immobilized and unable to swim away, the sea reptile would be able to pull back and lurch in again and again. Yeah. Taking the choice cuts with every bite after twisting off its mouthfuls. And once the belly was targeted with no more muscle and tissue holding the guts in, well, you can put two and two together. You know what's crazy is we all thought that babysitter got the worst death possible. It's such an unnecessarily horrifying death, but no, dude, it was the Indominus Rex. This Moza is the villain. Why did they make it? We can see the same method used today by the modern day equivalent to Mosasaurus, the Orca. Just like the Mosasaurus, these gigantic dolphins hunt a wide range of prey and have the tools to handle all of them. With teeth quite similar in many ways to the Moza and jaws so strong we don't even know their true bite force, these sea hunters make for an excellent analog to the Mosasaurus. And when hunting large animals like great white sharks, elephant seals, or ganging up on even larger whales, orca employ this same brutal tactic. Seeing the orca dismember their prey like this might explain why the Indominus was in peace by the time we saw her in Fallen Kingdom. I thought for sure they meant how they like the nine guild shark or great white sharks, how they go for the liver. Like they just extract it and then leave the rest of the body. I thought the Moza was about to do surgery on the Indom. Or why the Mosasaur was swimming away with her in its mouth at the end of the movie, but bits and pieces of the hybrid have become scattered all across the lagoon by the time the kids got there in season two of Camp Cretaceous. By one means or another, the intelligent Indominus Rex learned one final lesson during its short reign over Isla Nublar. For as terrifying as it was on land, any apex predator hits their limit when out of their element. You know what? A lot of people are going to disagree with me on this, but I don't even consider Camp Cretaceous to be canon, bro. I guess it is completely canon, so I'm just being a dumb idiot. But it's like a cartoon where the laws of physics change because kids can't, like, legally die in cartoons. Everyone always talks about, like, power scaling dinosaurs, and they always bring up Camp Cretaceous. And I'm like, you can't really power scale the dinosaurs in that. They couldn't catch the children, like, legally. I don't know. It drives me nuts, but I get it. It's a whole thing. It is canon. I'm just being silly. And, but whatever, dude. It's stupid. It's a cool show, though. I just hope they eat more freaking people. Oh, they eat adults just fine, but eat, eat some kids once in a while. Keep the stakes high. We should be able to have kids get eaten by dinosaurs in movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. That's my point. Either way, this video was freaking awesome. Subscribe to Goji Center. Let's get him to 2 million. Leave a like, subscribe here too, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>